Hey guys, Victoria with Naughty Styles here. Welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our affordable liveaboard yacht option series and bringing you another cool option to consider. If you are interested in learning more about liveaboard lifestyle and diving deeper into what it takes to move and live on the yacht, check out our Patreon page. We're really zooming in on those subjects there and really give you guys an opportunity to learn more about it. This is a 2005 Cruisers 405 Express motor yacht. It's an aft cabin motor yacht, which gives you a lot of volume for the size. All right, let's check it out. Welcome aboard. As you guys can tell right away by the shape of the exterior that this is an aft cabin motor yacht. The master cabin is gonna be back here so you can see all this room, this big window here as well. So that is definitely a big interest for someone who is looking at um, having a boat in the marina, using it as a base or, you know, not necessarily like world cruising, but a really good marina liveaboard with possibilities of taking it on the weekend. This would be something I would definitely consider. Totally agree. All right, you coming on? Yeah, just a quick pointing out, there's a cable master right here. What does that mean? A retractable shore power cable. Uh -huh. Really convenient and also conveniently located, actually. Yeah. The switch is right there as well. And Definitely. you just um, hook it into your shore power. Sometimes and they're like in a weird spot that yeah. you have to like wrap the cable around. So this is definitely really convenient. Come on board. So we have a um, stand up powder board here. So it makes it a little difficult to open all the hatches, but um, I can open this one, right? Yep. Nice storage. Yeah, good storage. And then this here as well, you think? Um, yeah, this one is slightly larger, but we would mm -hmm. have to move the chairs first. Yeah, this looks big, and I mean, we can't really uh, on the open it. Board, yeah. yeah, so, but you guys can imagine it. And over there is uh, where Rico is standing as a um, swim ladder. Yep, I'm gonna move around in oh, a second. Gonna... Behind okay. you, there's also the transom shower. Oh yeah, nice. Tucked away. Very cool. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then if we switch spaces, there we go. Yeah, so right here is our swim ladder. All right, come on up. So if you guys haven't seen the tour of our yacht, you can check it out right here. Some of you are saying, well, why do you keep comparing all the boats to your boat? Well, if you are shopping for a house and you live in a house, you're obviously gonna be comparing. It's completely normal and healthy. So we live on an aft cabin motor yacht as well. Just an interesting way of looking how different they could be and what the differences are. So if you guys haven't seen the tour, check it out. It's also in the description below. So this part is definitely a little bit different on this yacht than on our style of off-cabin motor yacht because this is one level. Ours has almost like a two level, a bit of a fly bridge um, and this deck here. This is just one all together. Um, what do we have here? We have our sink with a bar, storage, and a fridge with a nice maker. Oh wow, that's a good size. Yeah, pretty nice. Good size sitting area here for, you know, a good four or five people. And the tables are removable, they're separate, so you can mm -hmm. take one away, leave one, or take both away. Yeah, that is kind of nice to have that uh, flexibility. And then we're coming up here. This is probably gonna be the best seat in the house. Oh yeah, totally, right? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Underway. Yeah, and um, this whole area is enclosed, which is really nice. It gives you almost like a second living room. The helm is uh, your department. Yeah, and then also what I wanted to point out is like the whole top on this boat is all fiberglass. So it's not like canvas or anything. It's completely molded. It makes it 
feel really big and you have some overhead lights some natural light there which are covered right now yeah you um, have two hatches two two yeah. big size hatches actually and this owner obviously um really takes care of the boat because like everything is covered when covered everything here so it's uh, mm -hmm. it's the kind of a boat you want to buy when yeah, um, yeah. someone's made an effort and spent the money to have covers for everything yeah really like it all right to the helm so i got two helm seats one has the stand-up booster function the other one is just a regular helm seat and now let's go over here take a look at everything so here on the outboard side you got all your switches your light switches navigation light switches your windshield wipers bilge pumps etc all that fun stuff right there good visibility here you get the um, canvas you can open to the starboard and port side and also i see there's another one forward so you get some nice breeze coming through have our engine throttle and shift controls right here they're electronically controlled a Raymarine chart plotter there and then we got another e120 right there volvo penta digital displays and then we also have some analog gauges right next to it, as well as our fuel gauges right up there, our rudder angle indicator, a bow thruster controller, VHF radio, autopilot control, as well as our keypad for the Volvos. Pretty good, I think. How's the visibility back? Good enough. There are also a couple of storages, um, one down here and one over there, so that kind of covers this area. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering if there are actually storages underneath. Yeah, this storage, has a, a, storage big, underneath. Yeah, a big compartment here as well. It's kind of nice. You can put life jackets, just stuff that you're immediately using. Um, sometimes like, you know, some of the swimming stuff when you're on the islands, it's nice to have it in this area. So it's, you know, it's not going down below. It's definitely nice that everything is in one area. So even if you driving the boat, you're the skipper, you can still interact with everybody who's on board and, and with you. I agree. Now you gave me the slide. I have no idea what to do with oh, it. I'll I don't have it. a pocket. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Should we go forward? Uh, yes. Okay, let's do this. So I want to point out what I really love about our boat, which is similar in this boat, is having these big, heavy doors. They might not look like much, but they're really heavy because we had hours off and I couldn't even lift it. What's really nice about it, it's for kids, for dogs. Sometimes people are asking like, how is your dog safe on the boat? Well, he never really goes forward. So mm -hmm. this is nice. You can, and this one, it has a lockable mechanism here. So it's pretty awesome if you have small children. Going forward? Yep. Oh, it's a good walkway. This is nice and tall here. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's on the narrower side, but it, it's tall enough to feel safe going forward. So here, I guess, we would normally have cushions. Nice layout area. Yep. Really spacious. That must be the VIP cabins um, hatch. It's a really nice flat foredeck, actually. Yeah, feels good. And obviously, this, the windows are covered right here, the windshield. So this could be uncovered if uh, you wanted mm -hmm. to open it up yeah i like it all right what do you have over there not much uh, we get a searchlight mounted on top and our anchor controls right there and there we got a windlass with the winch handle for emergencies and um, that's it anchor locker no access from here i assume it is probably some access from the vip okay yeah all right let's uh, check out the interior yeah cool Oh, I see here there's a window from mm -hmm. inside, so that's probably really nice for cross breeze. Pardon the interruption. As I'm packing for our next filming trip, I wanted to take a moment and tell you guys about Surfshark VPN. If you travel as much as we do, you definitely run into geoblocking, which is streaming services restricting you access based on where you are in the world. Perfect example, Rico has amazing playlists on Pandora, but he cannot play them on Wi-Fi when we're doing our charters in the Bahamas. A simple click of a button and Surfshark VPN changes our location. We use it all the time, also to unblock net Netflix, Amazon Prime, even HBO. I will never forget the time when we were visiting Russia when the final episode of Game of Thrones was about to air and we were definitely not gonna miss that. So VPN, save the day again. But you do not need to be a world traveler to take advantage of what VPN has to offer. In an ocean of an online content, there are tons of websites that 
take your info and sell it without you even knowing it. Surfshark VPN can stop the websites from tracking info and selling targeted ads to you. Coolest thing is, it's the only VPN service that allows unlimited devices all on one account. Because Surfshark is sponsoring this video, you guys get 83% off plus three months for free if you use our code Naughty Styles. And it's completely risk-free to try because they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you just cancel it, get your money back, and get yourself a cheap cup of coffee. All right, link in the description below the video. And I am back to packing, and you're back to the tour. All right, let's check out the interior. Cool. So we have a sliding companionway door here. Grab rail, come on down. Coming in the salon area. It is definitely a bit different from ours, for sure. It has something that we wish we would have had, is the dinette area, which is um, a nice uh, space for a home office or just, you know, being able to have a meal here. We usually eat on our, you know, on our couch um, if we eat down below. But yeah, this is a pretty nice area to have. I agree. Editing space. There's a TV right there. And then uh, where Rico is, switch around. We also have a size couch for three people. Um, it's also convertible like ours, lazy boy style sofa. So you can open it up and hang out here. So it's pretty nice and watch TV. Actually kind of a nicely located everything. All right, let's check out the galley. What's this there? What's this here? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's just a decoration. Well, but it's also openable. Oh, <laughs> that's what you're saying. Looks like it. Wow, that's big. That is massive. Do you think that's where a TV used to be? I think you're right. Yeah, I think this used to be a space that where... That used to be a TV space. I think you're right. Yeah, but now it's uh, it's a pretty nice uh, little pantry. I would put a shelf here too. Really nice. Yeah. Also could do one of these uh, slidable, mm -hmm. you know, shelves mm -hmm. that you can actually see everything when it comes out. Mm -hmm. So that would be a good space to use. So we have a full-size fridge similar to ours. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's bigger than ours, actually. Yeah, actually it's... It's a better fridge. <laughs> and a freezer. Yeah. That's kind of like our size. Pretty good. Okay. Then we have uh, also a, a microwave oven. Storage space is everywhere. So it looks like a good amount of storage for sure. There's a trash here. Um, there is an oven. So that's oh, really I didn't nice. Even see that. Yeah. It's got a, actually a good size that's oven. Pretty much a full size oven. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, a two burner cooktop. I know we usually kind of like three, but two works as well. I mean, there are longer ones you could get that mm -hmm. are three burners if you really, really wanted to, if you really enjoy cooking. So you have a good size sink. Oh, wow. Love it. And then storage also down here. Some drawers. Not going to open everything up, but yeah, it's, a, it's, it's workable. There's also storage there, right? Oh, yeah. This looks cool. Yeah. So you have that whole storage. thing. Yeah. And also here too on top. It's kind of nice that this is still high enough that you could see everything. It's not just like right here in your face. So I think it's a pretty good galley. It's definitely a, a one person galley mm -hmm. for sure, but um, it works. It has, you know, Maybe one has and everything a half. you need. One and a half, like one you and half of me. <laughs> what do you think Rico? Behind you, there's a bunch of stuff there. Then we got a cabinet here with all our 110 breakers as well as the 12 volt house systems generator start stop button or switchovers between ship and shore power and a gauge for the water tank that's it and then i don't know what's down here uh, some more storage right down below here a nice old school stereo with a cd changer if you guys don't know what a cd is look it up google it <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of our subscribers do know as we do. All right, as we're coming forward, there's a couple of steps here. There's a kind of a linen closet or a closet here. It's not very deep, but mm -hmm. it is definitely good, you know, for some extra stuff here. Same here. Mm -hmm. Yep, great. And to our um, starboard side, there's a day head slash head for the VIP cabin. Meet you guys on the other side. Oh, it's pretty spacious, actually. Hello. Yeah, that's great. In case you're wondering, uh, but there's no shower here. Well, it's actually pretty cool um, on this boat. Wanted to point out as well is um, 
it has this nice daylight overhead, which is pretty cool. Just to get some, you know, extra light in there without turning on the lights. A nice little feature. Okay, should I just go through here yeah, and we come, go through come the, on in here. to the VIP? Correct. In this VIP, before we show you the VIP, on the port side, there is a shower. A full-size shower, you guys. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's got also a skylight and also has this kind of a see-through doors. Oh, it's like a frosted yeah, glass. Yeah, like a frosted glass and it just gives you so much light. Yeah, look at how that. About, how about light now? <laughs> That's a really nice shower, right? That, that is larger than, than our shower we oh, have yeah, this for, is the, really good uh, for the size. VIP. Yeah, really. I like the way they did this. So in the VIP cabin, oh, Rico's in the shower. Rico's in the shower. Rico's in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> and how is it? Good. Tell us, good, I'm gonna good, do good. one of these weird lots, shots you always lots, do of me. Lots, are, no, mine, my, my, oh god, that was like all cricket and oh boy, not a good shot. You're a cricket. Good size hanging locker here, all the way, it's really deep down there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a TV right here. There's some storages up, up on top right there on both sides. And yeah, and look at these two big drawers here. Yeah. And also there's that hatch that we saw from outside. So that's um, when you uncover this, it also gives you a lot more light. Good space for the VIP cabin for guests, uh, for just having a second bedroom the way we use ours, you know, just to put extra stuff. So that's our VIP cabin. And let's go check out the master, which is all the way up. I mean, keep in mind, it's a 40 foot boat. Correct. That's a lot of volume. Wow, look at the headroom. I'm 5'7", and this is a pretty good headroom here. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, and it's all, you know, all one level, like kind of like we have, so it's nice. Sometimes you have in the, in the master, like this, you know, kind of a lower space here, and it's higher here. This is all one level height. It's pretty nice. Wait, that's a queen size bed, right? Yeah. I think so, that's yeah. That's a queen mm -hmm. size bed. So it's um, pretty cool. You have this escape hatch slash patch you know, for, for daylight. So it's a, um, it's a big window. Yeah, it's a big window, good feature to have here. The way it's set up, you really feel mm -hmm. like it's a, a kind of a smaller bedroom in like a New York apartment. <laughs> like you have so much storage all the way around. Look up here. I'm a little bit jealous. This is a lot of storage That's here of storage, for, yeah. for the size of the boat, for sure. Because this is very compatible to ours in terms of the size. So mm -hmm. look, you have all of these. You know, pretty pretty good depth. Someone likes Miami Vice. And then we have storage here as well. Yep. Is that a hanging locker there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look very good. Good size. Yeah, it's um kind of impressive actually. So you have all of that, even this. Wow. wow. Pretty cool. And Again, we have a drawer down here underneath the bed as well. Uh -huh. So you have all of these here. I wonder how deep these are. No, not deep. So these are kind of short, but still all the way around. They also have some there. So look at, look What's at that? There's these. another hanging locker there. What? No, there's, oh, no oh, way. Nice. It's a washing machine. Awesome. A washer dryer combo. Wash and dryer combo. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. So I assume the one where your, where your leg. Look at this. Where your leg is should be pretty deep storage then as well, right? Yeah, all the way in there. Yeah. Super deep. I'm impressed, really honestly impressed. For a liveaboard master, this checks off a lot of boxes. And we have an ensuite. Oh, good shower. Pretty cool. Yep, walk in shower. Definitely one person shower, right? Really, Rico? I've well, never seen you say a shower is a one-person shower. No, well, maybe if you squeeze, if you squeeze, then you get two one people. One and a half person, <laughs> person shower. <laughs> Rico and the Chihuahua shower. All right. Um, well, all the storage here. There are medicine cabinets up on top. There's some here. Yeah, good size. I really like it. I really like this this whole um, stateroom. I think mm -hmm. it's a pretty good master for sure. Agreed. You want to check out the engine room? Let's do it. All right. Two. Come on, back up in the salon. We gotta put this away, right? I believe so. Okay, I'm gonna hold the camera and you're gonna see. And then see. we need to figure out what to open from where.
Oh, not engine room. Oh, what's there? Looks like a water maker and a whole bunch of tanks. <laughs> Here. So we got a water maker um, situated right there and um, looks like a freshwater tank. And the bottom one there looks like a holding tank to me. So yeah, just a little cavity with um, your tanks and some pumps and the engine room is behind. So let's okay. try to find that one. <laughs> All right. And here's our engine room access. Ta-da! Yep, we got All a winner. Right. Oh wow, look, there's a generator. Mm-hmm. Okay. You ready for this, sir? Hello? <laughs> looks very excited. <laughs> Not? All right. All right, ready? Okay. Ready! Okie dokie, let's do this. Battery chargers here on the port side. Um, a couple of batteries sitting right here. I have a battery switch right there. Got an Onan generator here in the center part of the boat. Fireboy mounted right there, fire suppression system. <laughs> and got a generator battery and the starboard engine start battery on the starboard side. Turn around. We got two Volvo Penta TAMD 74 diesel engines mounted on this boat. These engines each have 430 horsepower. So comparing to our boat, which we have 330 uh, Cummins Diamond Series, this boat is definitely well equipped. You're gonna get a decent cruising speed out of this boat with these 430s here. And that's it on the engine room already. you guys this concludes our tour of 2005 cruisers 405 i hope you found it interesting and it gave you some ideas the price point definitely makes it a great entry first yacht a liveaboard condo in the water possibility just a lot of good options to consider also make sure you check out us on instagram this is mine this is rico's and what else subscribe like comment <laughs> yeah i mean all the good stuff you guys hit a like button subscribe we really appreciate it. it makes a huge difference and if you are joining us on the patreon you also also get this cool t-shirt that you see on this model it's a naughty crew t-shirt yeah and if you're wondering what this yacht is there is a story behind it and you get to see it on the patreon as well also this camera is crooked well, you're gonna hold it straight. It's not straight. Well, whatever, you hold, the, you hold the thing straight and then it's straight. There you go. All right, you guys, enjoy the outtakes. Figure it out. Can you see this? Yeah, it's recording. I can you see this. No, no. We are back with. No, that's weird. Okay. Um. Hi guys, Victoria with Naughty Styles here. Is that a new thing you're doing this? What? What about me? I'm here too. It's like no Victoria with Naughty Styles. I mean, you're here, but. Yeah, but I'm just focusing on yourself. But... <laughs> Rico is here too. Yeah. I know how it goes. <laughs> you think I'm pushing you out? Mm -hmm. You're becoming too popular. I think you'd have to wear a bikini all the time in order for your channel to be popular. That's what it kind of feels like. People are more interested in seeing you in bikini than me. One more time. Anything you want to say? No. So our boat is also an aft cockpit motor yacht. If you guys haven't seen the tour of it, it's right here. Just gives you an opportunity. What's going on? It's aft not... cockpit, I keep saying. Yeah, it's cabin. Why? Well, I don't know, I keep saying. Um, your horns, your navigation like. I don't know. Um, it's good visibility here, actually, really good. Can you say that again? What's, oh, it's pretty good visibility here. Oh, you mean without the squeaking sound? Yeah. <laughs> and your shoes are also making crazy squeaking sound. Yeah, can you stop? <laughs> I have to All edit right. this. Volvo Penta uh, Digital. Um, Volvo Penta Digital. Oh, How's it called? This place. That's it? What do you want me to say? <laughs>
It's pretty nice. It's like nice. Like. Okay. Would you want to say something about the couch? Say something about the couch. What, what? do you want to say about the couch? No, I mean, Come on. you said it already has lazy boy function. It's all good. Do you want to repeat what I had, what I wanted to say? No. To the starboard side, we have a day head slash head for the. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. You want to check out the uh, engine room? Yeah. Turn around. Boom. Also, also, also. <clears throat> and, and please, really bright in here. Yeah, how about right behind you? There's also some stuff there. This here? No. Or this? No. Are oh, you talking about this? Yes. Okay. Uh, 